Hey, Jim Hoffman here for EMS Office Hours, and this is your Monday Minutes. Uh, today, I'm going to just quickly go over four of the most common lung sounds that we'll hear uh, in EMS. Uh, of course, there's variations of them, uh, but this is just a quick basic video to give you an, an idea of what you're listening for and what you're going to see on these lung sounds. Just keep in mind, guys, that practice, uh, in this case, makes permanent, right? Because the more we practice listening to lung sounds, the more uh, we'll be able to identify when they're not quite the textbook uh, sort of presentation. So practice on those patients. You know, the patients you have that are the, the basic uh, interfacility transports, um, your basic non-emergent patient, you know, listen to their lungs. Get an idea of what the different lung sounds sound like when you take a listen especially for those interfacility transports where you've got patients that have a chronic issue and their lungs are not going to be this 20-year-old, you know, male or female sort of lung sounds that are, that are perfect, okay? So keep practicing, keep listening, and with that, you'll get better at identifying the lung sounds. So first one, of course, is wheezing, right? The more common, especially for asthmatic patients, this is a continuous sound. It's high pitched, musical in nature, very similar to a whistle. So I'm going to play uh, a, a basic wheeze uh, audio here for you and give you an idea what this sounds like. Okay, so. That is the basic wheezing. Um, again, there's different variations of, of what a wheeze may sound like, okay? Um, but that is your baseline of what you're going to be listening for. Now, ronchi is another one. Uh, a lot of times, patients that have pneumonia, you're going to be hearing these sounds. Again, a, a continuous lung sound, lower pitch, and more of a snoring sort of quality. So let's take a listen here uh, of some uh, ronchi's. Uh, breath sounds and you can get an idea what this sounds like as well. Okay, uh, third one I want to go over here is stridor. Okay, this is mostly inspiratory in nature. It sounds like a wheeze and it's um, associated with l laryngeal obstructions. Okay. Um, a lot of times you're going to see this in pediatric patients. So let's take a quick listen here of what Strider will sound like. Okay, again, guys, keep in mind, these sounds I'm, I'm playing for you here are more general sounds. They're the sort of a baseline. There's, again, there's variations inspiratory, expiratory, strider, you know, there's going to be different variations of these. The final one I want to go over, guys, is rails or crackles that we're going to see, especially in your CHF patients. Okay, these are the, those light crackling or popping sort of sounds. They're not musical sounding, and you hear them more on inspiration for a patient. Now, I'm going to play this sound for you here, but again, rails and crackles, you can have coarse, you can have fine, um, it could be mixed in with ronchi. You can might be even hear wheezes with it. Okay, so again, just a baseline, but I want to give you an idea of what you're listening for, for rails or for crackles. Let's take a listen. Okay, so again, those are the four main lung sounds we'll listen for or you know you've got absent lung sounds and and you know different variations of what you might or might not hear when you're assessing your patients okay um and again these four samples that i gave are really just sort of a baseline give an idea of what you're listening for and knowing you know something again like rail where it's a light crackling sound or wheezing where it's more of a musical sound Understanding that is going to help you when you're identifying the lung sounds as well and not just trying to duplicate what you're hearing on sample audios like this, okay? Guys, I hope that you can use these Monday Minutes. Uh, if you have some minutes of your own, be sure to send them over to me. 
uh, my email is jhoff at emsseo.com. Be more than happy to uh, get a Monday Minutes up here on a topic that you'd like to see. Um, if you are interested in more lung sounds training and more overall studying and and uh, resources for EMS, go check out Turbomatic Guys. It really is the all-in-one resource for EMS providers. It's been proven at every certification level. So go master your EMS training, master your career goals, okay? Pass any exam, master any skill, okay? This can help you in your career, in your studies, and in your patient care. Go check it out. See how Terramatic can get put to work for you. Just click this Join Now button, and you'll get taken there for some more information. Guys, any ideas, comments, questions, send them over to me again. It's jhoff at emsseo.com. And until next week, as always, Jim Hoffman from EMS Office Hours. Stay safe.